Friends, today I am going to teach you if how to edit an image. For example, one by one, two by two, or passport size image using a formal attire. Hi there everyone, well it's me, Teacher Kevin, and this time all you need to do then is to sit back, relax, listen, watch, and learn. The first thing that I want you to take away from today is this, you will have good days and you will also have bad days. But you will always learn something more, something new, and you will learn more overall on bad days than good days. You will learn more about yourself, you will learn more about life, love, leadership from different principles, and you will build your character. Well, my dear students, in this world, you must learn to accept life so that the world will accept you. Right, so uh, you've heard it right. Um, we're going to edit a photo, all right, uh, for our 2x2 two two or passport or 1x1 one one image, okay? And we're gonna use a formal attire without actually wearing a formal attire, such as a coat or a tuxedo. We can do that one in Photoshop, all right? So the first thing that you will do, of course, is to download an image, all right? For example, if you will proceed in Google, you will just then search um, coat for 2x2, two picture for men or for women all right then um, there are so many photos that will appear all you need to do then is download them if possible you may just then download png images all right because those type of images are already um uh, they, they no longer have a background so that it will be easier for us to use them and uh, to edit our image all right so without further ado let's do this we're going to use adobe photoshop okay so we are now in the workspace of adobe photoshop my dear friends and uh, just like if what i have said earlier uh, the first thing that you will do here is of course to download an image uh, i have here an image actually it's not a png uh, but uh, we can remove the background all right since it has it has a plain background it will be easier for us to remove the background and we also have here an image of mine Okay, and uh, I'm going to replace this uh, polo shirt with this coat. Alright, so let's do this my dear friends. Uh, going back to Adobe Photoshop. First things first, let's open a file and let's set it already uh, for uh, uh, example if what particular size of image are you going to use. Alright, so Control N to create new and uh, let's convert this one into inches and this time I'm going to make a 2 by 2 there you go 2 inches by 2 inches and let's change the resolution to 300 and uh, the color mode of course to RGB click OK and this is the actual size of 2 by 2 image okay next let's open our first image All right there you go uh, this is my image and uh, all we need to do here is to remove the this part all right all we need to do to, to get here is the the face and of course the neck okay so first let's remove the background we're going to use the magic eraser tool right click on this one and we can see the magic eraser tool remove background there you go and this time we're going to use the marquee tool and the, uh, the polygonal lasso tool there you go and in here let's just then remove uh, uh, some of the parts that we need to remove here there you go we're just simply going to get the neck just a part of it since we can uh, edit this one later on all right there you go all right there you go there you go select and uh, let's remove uh, my body <laughs> all right there you go and uh, there you go remove there you go so i only have my head right now next let's open the coat my dear friends Control o to open the coat there you go there you go as you can see as just like what i've said earlier um uh these still have a white background and we can easily edit it if we will remove the background first okay so uh, let's just then remove the background again since it has a plain white background uh, proceed to eraser tool and we're going to use magic eraser tool and remove the background there you go all right 
And the next thing, of course, uh, we'll just then crack this one. Okay, there you go. Hit enter. Right. The next thing, our head. Right. But of course, um, we'll just then copy this coat. And at the same time, our head and this main paper that we've just created earlier. Okay. So first, the thing that we will copy is, of course, the coat. We're going to use this the selection tool. There you go. And I'm going to copy the code, Control C, and proceed to our main paper, Control V. There you go. Right? Then we'll just then have to resize this one. Okay. There you go. Right? There you go. Okay. Enter. Then let's uh, copy my head. <laughs> We're going to use that one again, the selection tool. Control C and Control V. There you go. Now, what we're going to do here is to put this head, my head, at the back of uh, my coat. All right. So simply, this is how to do it. Go to layers, and we have here two layers: the coat and uh, my image. So I'm just going to drag this one down. There you go. And uh, Control T to transform the image. There you go. Alright, then uh, we'll just then adjust it uh, to make it even more um, accurate. Alright, so let's adjust the image. Alright, and uh, there you go. Let's also adjust the coat. It's just a matter of control, my dear friends, in terms of adjusting the coat. Right? Okay, control T. Right. There you go. Okay, uh, the coat again. It's just a matter of adjusting it. Control T to resize it. There you go. As you can see, there's uh, some dirt here. All we need to remove this one. So make sure that you will select the coat. Then we're going to use the lasso tool again or the polygonal lasso tool. Then we'll just then clean this one out. There you go. There you go. Simply because I want to remove this bar. There you go. Let's make our sure. Back to our image, control to let's select it. There you go. Okay. Right. Uh, same as through with the code again. Control T to adjust it. You can do this one perfectly uh, it will just all right so there you go so this is just our simple output my dear friends from this uh, or shall I say uh, from this simple image up to this one all right so this is just our simple output and there you go it's just a matter of timing or shall I say it's about just a matter of control and resizing it since we only have two layers here okay and uh, that's it you can be you can do uh, an even more uh, better output than this for sure don't forget to like share comment subscribe